Life as we know it has three dimensions of space and one of time. We live in a three plus one dimension, as astrophysicists would say. But exactly why space is 3D and not some other number of dimensions is a question that has intrigued philosophers and cosmologists since ancient times. The general conclusion has always been the fact that, well, we're here observing a 3 plus 1 dimension, so it must be inevitable. But that's not really scientific. What about other possibilities? Like a universe with only two dimensions of space and one of time. Well, science has long thought that a 2 plus 1 dimensional universe wouldn't allow for the necessary complexity to support the evolution of life. One researcher, though, is thinking differently about that question. James Scargill is a postdoctoral researcher at the University of California, Davis. Scargill has just published a paper that seeks to disprove the notions that a 2 plus 1 dimensional universe cannot support life. This place would be similar to Carl Sagan's Flatland, where inhabitants existed on a two-dimensional plane like a piece of paper. It's been traditionally thought that a 2D universe cannot support gravity, and thus the formation of stars or planets. Scargill crunched the numbers, though, and thinks that a much simpler gravitational field could exist. This would theoretically allow for stable orbits and potentially normal cosmology. Gravity could even impact a two-dimensional plane from a higher dimension by warping it. Still, what good is a 2D universe if nothing is living in it? Well, Scargill thinks he's challenged that idea too. It's long been thought that life could not evolve in two dimensions because there's not enough mathematical complexity to support it. This assumption might be wrong. How? Well, it turns out the same things that make biological neural networks, like the human brain, have enough complexity a 2D system can reproduce. A 2D neural network can be built using a series of planar graphs, for example, which are essentially structures that exist on a surface without any of the edges crossing. It's possible that a network of these could mimic the hierarchical way a neural network processes information. MIT, of all places, who reviewed Scargill's paper, says this result has never been mathematically proven before now. We don't know what a 2 plus 1 dimensional universe would look like, but at least from a theoretical standpoint, it is possible that it could be complex enough to support the evolution of life. And gravity could exist to support the formation of objects. This doesn't prove anything about whether or not beings with complex brains would be on a flat land. There's also no way to know what 2D creatures could look like, or if they might be just networks of thinking, feeling brains. But all reasoning scientists used to use to disprove 2D life has now been squashed. If there is a two-dimensional reality outside of our perception, it might actually turn out to be pretty interesting. We are a new science channel that covers the most important academic studies released each week. And if you're interested in more videos like this, subscribe.